Troodon mothers may have laid their eggs near the banks of the levee, where the carcasses of duckbills piled up. In this way, Troodon young would have hatched to a ready source of food. The adult Troodon probably fed on a variety of fare, plants, insects, and our ancestors, the early mammals. During the Cretaceous period, mammals were small insect eaters whose sole refuge was the night. Most large killer dinosaurs had poor night vision. Then, Troodon arrived on the scene. Little escaped its acute eyesight, its nimble, grasping hands. The mammals had nowhere to hide. Master of the dark, Troodon may have posed a greater threat to mammals than any other predator on Earth. The coyote dinosaur might eventually have slowed the evolution of mammals to a dead stop. We will never know, for Troodon was suddenly cut down in its prime. This dinosaurian community, with, in its, really in its flush of youth, was also a final expression of the beauty of the dinosaurian world, because just after the moment in time represented by this locality, a great extinction swept the surface of the Earth. Scientists have yet to solve the mystery of the dinosaur's demise. Asteroids, volcanoes, or viruses may be to blame. Only the outcome is clear. By 65 million years ago, the dinosaurs were gone. But the story of Troodon does not end here at Dragon's Grave. It launches us into the future from the dinosaur age to the space age. The extinction of the dinosaurs ushered in a new era in Earth history, the age of the mammals. The descendants of Troodon's tiny prey now rule the planet. Was the rise of our kind predestined, or could the evolution of life have taken a different course? What would have happened if mass extinction hadn't occurred? Uh, mammals had been suppressed or, or limited to the small body size all through the Mesozoic. Now we have these small theropods moving in, um, certainly competing with mammals, certainly or almost certainly preying on the mammals that, that were comfortable for a period of time. If the extinction hadn't occurred, um, you can project this one step farther. Perhaps, perhaps these small theropods would have completely pushed the small mammals aside. Um, at the very least, they would have kept them from ever getting large. Natural selection had favored Troodon's acute vision, its grasping hands, and keen intelligence. What if it had continued evolving? Dale Russell would answer that question by projecting Troodon into a hypothetical future where dinosaurs had never gone extinct. He was prompted by a group of scientists interested in the evolution of life, but not on Earth. Experts at NASA were looking into a research project based on a bold proposition that life might exist elsewhere in the universe. They asked Russell to calculate the odds that it might be intelligent. Russell reviewed brain-to-body ratios as they evolved through time. Before the extinction of the dinosaurs, Mammals and Troodon had similar body-brain proportions. In theory, both had equal chances of becoming more highly evolved. Sixty-five million years ago, Troodon was full of potential.
given another eon or two, it might have looked like this. The dinosauroid, a hypothetical creature, humanoid in form, reptilian in biology. Hands like ours, skin like a snake's. Brain like ours, eyes of a dinosaur. A dinosauroid mother would have given live birth, as do some species of snakes and lizards today. But with no mammary glands, she would have regurgitated solid food for her baby. Dale Russell created the dinosauroid by calculating how Troodon's skeleton would have changed if its brain had grown to the relative size of our own. The eyes are focused more directly toward the front than they are in the dinosaur, so it probably would have had stereoscopic vision, as, as we happen to. The face is shortened. It has hands which it uses as tools and feeding devices rather than a jaw. The backbone is vertical. The pelvis is rotated beneath it. And it is our feeling, especially in view of the tremendous success of our own species and the bioengineering that it represents, which is the wisdom of millions of years, derived from a creature, incidentally, which is like a shrew and four-legged. Um, we feel that this is a expectable, viable body form in our thought experiment. And it, it's actually a creature that departed from an ancestor which was bipedal, had an, a hand that was, had an opposable finger in it, had partly stereoscopic vision, and indeed the dinosaur looks more like us than our own ancestors did. Had the dinosaur survived, a creature like this might have built great cities, created works of art, and gazed at the stars questioning the meaning of it all. A spark of what we define as human consciousness may have smoldered in a small dinosaur 70 million years ago. The fate of Troodon carries a message for our kind. But for a fluke of evolution, we might not be here. Scientists with emerald skin would study the bones of ancient mammals, wondering what they might have become.